All right, welcome to this episode of Less Play Wild. This is this is the third third time I've tried to make this video. Um, and the first time I tried to make it, I had some audio problem. The second time I tried to make it, the um, I have a screen capture device, and it um, it only captured the green and the black. It didn't capture any of the reds or blues. It was unusable. So hopefully, I've tested. I tested the other times, and it came out right. But then the actual recording didn't. Hopefully this one will come out correct. I am on my Paladin Kadosh. Kadosh is, is my main. And this video is in response to the comments. I want to start this video off by saying thank you to those people who comment on the videos and ask you know questions and things like that. I love the interaction. And so um, beginning this video, the, the person said, hey, I love how your, your um, interface shows what button you're pushing. Then it'll show what button I'm pushing. I'll talk about that in a second. But they said, would you do a Rep Pally video? And um, so that's what we're going to do. This is my, my, my Paladin. Over the years, I've been playing for a long time. How long have I been playing? That's a long, that's a really good question. Up to this point, 277 days on Kadosh. I've played other other classes as well. I'm going to go I'm gonna go kill that um, that thing and see what happens. Maybe I'll get some some points here. Oh, maybe I'll get to it. No, there's no way. I don't have a Didn't point. make it. Did not make it. Uh, story of my life right there. Um, so they said, uh, I'd like to see how, how your rotation works. So how that th this works, I have an add-on called Conro, Conflict Rotation Optimizer. And this is not a... A video about that add-on as much as it is that you will see the add-on behaving. I can set it in uh, burst mode which means that this is for boss fights when I want to decide what cooldowns to use or when you're just out doing quests and you don't want to blow you know divine shield on just because that's what came off cooldown so it, I put it on burst mode and it's gonna give me suggestions as to which of my big cooldowns to use and then I can decide, you know, whether I'm going to use them or not. Um, it does a really good job. I, I've said before, actually, I said in the videos that didn't come out that um, playing classes that I'm not very familiar with, it is a huge, huge asset. Let's go. Let's go get those things because I'm not doing. I'm not going to fight Blato. I'm going to go up here to this uh, place up here far far away so it's gonna it's gonna suggest what I should it's gonna put a skull on the thing that is going to do the most damage at that moment and and it does a pretty good job of recognizing whether you're in a multi-target fight or a single target fight and it'll it'll switch between Templar's Verdict and Divine Storm based on what's procced and how many things you're hitting and all those sorts of things um, it doesn't read my, my trinket it, it doesn't always read the uh, amulet. Sometimes it does on other other uh, of these things. Like when I'm on my disc priest, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys. We'll see what happens. I started with I started with uh, Wake of Ashes to build up that holy time. and now it wants me to, to do Inquisition and do that. Judgment is called for Judgment, and they're all dead. We've got two of them. It's a good start. Well, somebody's mad at me. Oh, lots of people are mad at me. I got this trinket. It's kind of fun. So, this is the interrupt symbol of something that could have interrupted, so I think I have to it. Going into the fight, I want to build up some holy power, and so if I'm, if I'm running in from afar, I'm going to get Judgment, that's going to build up one Holy Power. And then I'm going to get uh, Blade of Justice, is going to build up an, a couple more Holy Powers. Somewhere along the way, Inquisition is going to be uh, castable. And that's going to use up some Holy Power and give me, you know, the, the power up. And Wake of Ashes is going to generate five, um, five Holy Power. If you drop in from, from flying, obviously... Um, Wake of Ashes is a great one to start with because it gives you, gives you some options right off the bat. Goes Judgment. You now have three Holy Power. Interrupt that. Inquisition. Oh, I don't have a target. 
first video I did on this, I um, I soloed uh, Motherload on regular, not on you know anything hard, just because I thought the boss fights would it would help you know to see the boss fights. Where is this chest? It's gone. Nope, it's down here somewhere. I don't see it. There it is. I don't guess I have to collect chests out of my list. But uh, just to see the, the, the rotation of, of what to cast when. So I'm going to hit these guys with Wake of Ashes and build up my Holy Power. That's what I'm going to start off with. There's five Holy Power. Casting in position. I'm going to go ahead and... Got two more. I got six. I'm gonna pack this guy down here. Taunt that guy. Pack this guy. Oh, I got a whole bunch of people. Go ahead and use my defensive thing. I'm gonna go with some holy power. Yeah, I think I'm saying it's like that. I don't have a target. It's my favorite line of the game. I need a target. At the end of the fight, not the beginning of the fight. Two more. I need two more. I'm kind of getting ahead. I gotta go do um, all these coalescing corruption things. That's going to. That's going to generate a lot. I got Wake of Ashes up. I'm going to use that. Then I'm going to go up here. In position. In position again. All right, we're done here. So building up that Holy Power, using Wake of Ashes, Judgment, all these things to build up Holy Power, and then spending it on things that do uh, a lot of damage um, is... Um, it's kind of the, the paladin, the rep pally uh, approach. Uh, and then throwing in your trinkets and your amulet and the other things. So Kadosh is... I've done some, some mythics. I've got pretty decent gear on Kadosh. I've got my cloak up to 15. I've got the 113 corruption resistance. Um, doing this for my... my um, Crucible of Flame. i got that. Doing that for the heart of Azeroth. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> there was a time when I was I was running Mythics Weekly. I was doing weekly Mythic runs with a pretty good group of people. We did, we did some... And, and I was spending an hour before every... Uh, literally every week I spent an hour um, at least... Simming and resimming and trying all those things out. And uh, what a blood mallet. Recently, uh, I picked up um, Infinite Stars. I got Infinite Stars 3. And with Infinite Stars 3, it's one of the top rated DPS pieces. So, I just quit swimming. I got infinite stars and I got the tentacle of uh, And so, I just put them on. And uh, as a result, I... Oh, there's a, a, a rare. I have to get rares. I had to get rares the other day. One of the other videos, I had to get rares. Not this one. I think it's the stealthy dude. It's over here. I'm out of range. Yeah. So there's the tentacle. It's a level three twisted appendage, and then I have level three infinite stars. So I just quit. I have all all of this gear that I was like trying every possible combination in the simulator. And in the last couple of weeks, I just I just put those two in and try to keep my corruption down to below 29. And,
That did not help me at all for any of these dailies. Coalesce, I don't have any of those. There's, no. Why do we still have Horde, by the way? We're all fighting the Zoth. Why can't we fight him together? It's not ready. That's not ready. Do my thing. I feel like we all are fighting the same bad guy. One of those. Shouldn't we be able to fight him together? Uh, I gotta kill three of these guys. Wake of Ashes. I use a healing add on called Healer. And it's just click whatever spell on whoever's in your party. Everybody gets listed here. It's a little clumsy when you have a big raid, but it's really nice with your uh, five mans and, and that sort of thing. Um, but when you have like 40 people, it fills up a lot of screen real estate. But it's really, really nice. You just click on it, especially if you're in a party of three or five or whatever. You can just click on who needs to be you know, cleansed or healed or whatever. And... Um, uh, there's another one. Healing out on helium. A wake of ashes. The holy power up. You're really supposed to cast this when you have maximum holy power. I'm not, I'm not strict about that as I should be. More so if if, uh, if I weren't talking about everything I was trying to do, I would be a little better. Oh, you went back. Uh, I got some two of those. I usually box. Uh, sometimes I, I triple box. Sometimes I dual box. Um, depends on how hard the content. I can't. I don't box like the horrific visions. I've tried that and it becomes a terrible idea. Terrible outcome. My, my trinket. Close myself. Get out of right now. I don't have a target. So the add-on doesn't tell me to cast this if it's already active. So I've got 22 seconds left on it. It's not going to tell me to cast it, no matter how much holy power I have. It's not going to tell me to cast it over again which is uh, kind of a neat thing. And I've played other classes, not as well, not as, as much. Like, I'm terrible at monks. Someone mentioned that. They were watching my, my horrific vision about monks, and they were like, yeah, you're, you're really bad. You're a terrible player. And I was like, yep. I played the monk the other day. I have, like, 445 gear score, and I did the, the daily vision thing. I was like, I'm just mashing buttons here. But... Um, it helps the the add-on. I've done some of the time walking dungeons on my shaman and my warrior and classes I just sort of occasionally play. And um, doing the time walking dungeons, you know, where they kind of nerf your gear and equalize everything, I've, I've really done very well um, in those in those dungeons. And a lot of times, even, even though I'm not like super familiar with the class, I've performed in the, the top you know, top DPS and I, I attribute that to pretty much this add on. Is it 100% maximized, perfect, 100%? I doubt it. Uh, but is it better than me just mashing buttons? Absolutely. Um, honestly, with the Paladin, I've played Paladin so much that I kind of have a, a sense of what buttons are going to go when, and I'm able to actually you know, run around the. Um, Mythic Dungeon or whatever it is. But um, other classes, 
you know, I'm able to actually see what I'm not supposed to be standing in. There's one. Uh, nope, that's not the thing. Is it? Nope. I need the little blobs. I need to get four more of those. Nope. Oh, a druid. I love that druid spell. I love that. Manfire, Sunfire, those things. That's, that's very cool looking spell. I have a druid. Another class that I haven't played much since Lich King, probably. I used to heal uh, on my, my druid in Lich King. I, I did healing. On the Paladin, I've, I've tanked, I've DPS, I've healed, I've done it all on the Paladin. I have three Paladins at this point. One's, uh, this is a Blacksmith. I have an uh, Inscriptionist and an Engineer. And... Uh, I do. That's all I gotta say. There's not really an and. That was a. That should have been a period. More oozes. Oh. So I hit Wake of Ashes. I didn't look at the screen. I hit Wake of Ashes and it wasn't ready. So I knew. I knew to go to Divine Storm. Click on that. I'm a I'm a key binding player. So I have my key bindings. So this is Tilda. One, two, three, four. It's, Five, six, seven, eight, all that. I really can't reach past the six very well. I can reach the four very easily. And then I've got R, T, so this is the R's under the four, the T's under the five, more or less. Shift T, I can do that pretty easily. Y, not very often used. These guys over here, I just usually click on them. They're, they're so far away. I'm, I'm obviously not going to be able to reach P without taking my hand off the mouse, in which case it's probably easier just to put the mouse on. So I'm a, I'm a sort of a hybrid key binding. I don't have any spells on the movement keys, so the six movement keys and, and the X is not too bad. Z, I can do Z while I'm um, taking damage. I took 10% damage just looting that thing. Hey, somebody healed me. wonder what that was about. Thank you, Night Elf Priest. So there's a nice guy right there. Let's 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 smite fools the light of dawn. That was that was one of the things that really kind of in, I really enjoyed about World of Warcraft back when I was level 20 and 40 and all that was like just randomly running into people who wanted to be helpful, and wanted to. And I, I read uh, on a, a, a Facebook forum. So I was talking about that's what really uh, made them want to play World of Warcraft. Back in the, they're, they're they were playing uh, classic right now. They're like, isn't it great when people who aren't really on your quest, but they'll help you out anyway? And and I agree with that. That's that's kind of a cool thing about World of Warcraft. Is I talked to some students. Say I'm a school teacher. If you follow my other account, my other Facebook, my other YouTube account, and um, the guy was like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've heard about World of Warcraft. And I was like, it's just like, it, there's so much that is long-term, developmental. It's not something you can get in, get out of. and It's something you sort of invest in over time. Um, so I don't know that it's going to appeal a whole lot to today's young gamers. What else do I need? Some citizens. I need to free some citizens. <clears throat> I'm getting pretty close here. I think probably the time I free the citizens. But I, I started playing. I always do this to. So I, I reached level 10 on this on this tune. This was like my third character to reach level 10 on uh, in 2009. So um, that's where I probably started shortly before June, whatever that date was. I'm under attack. I'm also stuck. That was it for the stars. That's my tentacle. The tentacle is so powerful. The, I have a tentacle on my on my priest, which I usually when I do the um, 
but I do the horrific visions I played in disc. So when you play in disc, it's a healing spec according to the horrific visions. It nerfs all of the, the bad guys. It nerfs all the bad guys. So with all the bad guys nerfed, it doesn't nerf your tentacle. It doesn't nerf Twilight Devastation. Those things. So um, I will be fighting things on my disc, my disc, my priest in disc. I'll be doing the horrific vision, and. The tentacle will pop out. I'll just go, I'm done, I'm running. I'll go on. Because the tentacle will do so much damage that it will a lot of times finish finish the fight off with me not even being there. And if it doesn't finish the fight off, it's so, clo it's so close to being finished that as to not really even matter. I'm going to go fight these guys. Let's do the holes. I'm going to start with Wake of Ashes and then go from there. There's my Holy Power. There's Inquisition. There's the Wings. Do the... Interrupt, interrupt the game. Let's finish it off. Some more citizens to free. I did not understand what that guy said, but I think he said it. I'm too late. I didn't understand what he said. Alright. I'm going to go help this guy because he may still be those things. Let him get that one. I didn't... I didn't mean to steal the one, he probably was trying to get them both. I set all my action bars up so that similar spells are on the similar things. So, if I have like a multi-target, like, uh, what is the, um, Arcane Nova, Arcane, whatever the Arcane thing is, I put it there. Um, Holy Nova, or whatever it is on the disc, pre on the priest. I put uh, my go fast button, whatever the go fast button is, if I have one, I put it on cleverly enough. G, power ups on H, power ups on F. Um, so I, I kind of put uh, area of effect or multi target attacks here, stuns, single target range, um, single target, single target. It just depends on what spells you have, whether, whether these things are what those are. But I try to set things up. I'll put my defensives over here, or all that set things up sort of the same so that class by class if I'm expecting like I need to do like an area of effect attack I know it's going to be on Z every time um, put buffs and things down here and so this is going to be the last fight we might have to run around a lot my shield up When I first started playing, you know, this, 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 uh, assault was, it was murder, literally, you just died, just standing here and this stuff, it would kill you, just getting hit by those things that come out, those, uh, fragmented halos, now, I'm down to 80%, I'm not even trying to stay out of stuff. I'm gonna talk to him. Nah, he's not moving. It's over. The Black Empire wanes. Alright. That is You have given us hope. Jeff. I don't know if that helped. The person who asked for this video, um, I hope this helps you. I hope that lets you see a little bit what I do. Not that I'm saying like I'm like the all-time expert. I'm one of the things I really liked about some of the comments I was reading was like you're great. You're just kind of like a weekend warrior, and your you're making business. videos, and I really appreciate that. We have a war like, to wage. You know, you're super, super, Do all that, I don't know, whatever. I guess that's a nice way of saying you're not really very good, but we enjoy your videos. Uh, I don't think that's what it meant. That was that's not exactly. That's probably. Ramka head. Well but um, yeah, that's kind of kind of let's play. Let's just play together. Another thing they said that they enjoyed was like I was running into uh, the. Horrific visions haven't never even looked at them before not even looked up anything online I just like ran in and started trying something in Stormwind um, So that's kind of the the gist of this. What did I get there? I got some Arm braces probably not gonna use those those are probably gonna get into the scrapper probably so I'm probably gonna stick with that twisted appendage 3 and the 470 whatever those were That is all for this episode um, like again, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, uh, 
hope it did what you wanted it to do. Uh, and if you weren't the person who requested the video, hopefully um, it was helpful for you too. And maybe you just enjoyed hearing me rant and whatever it was, meander my thoughts. Now, crossing our fingers, hopefully this recording uh, is usable. That is all for this episode. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.